Hi, this is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio, here to tell you about one of my favorite topics, Pythagorean triples activity. We have a couple different things here. We'll start off with triangles that have two sets of Pythagorean triples built right into them. If you're interested in this activity and other ones like them, I suggest you go to this website right here. Those are all lowercase. Pause as needed. So we'll advance to page 1.2. So here we have a right triangle or a triangle here with an altitude drawn to this side right here. And we're giving three lengths and asked to find the other two. If you'd like to try this, go ahead and press pause. Otherwise, I'll continue. And of course, we have a 7, 24, 25 over here. If this is a right triangle, uh, that's one of the known triples. And then 10, 24, 26, because it's a double multiple of our Good old buddy, 5, 12, 13. Here we have another triangle with an altitude drawn to it. Uh, we're given that this whole length here is 14. This is 13. This is 15. And so I'm thinking 5, 12, 13. Let's see how that would work out. So yes, 5, 12, 13 works well. But if this is 5, that would make this 9. And 9, 12, 15 is the other Pythagorean triple. It's a triple of a triple, three times the 3, 4, 5. Here's another tall one here, another right triangle, actually uh, three right or two right triangles, a small one and then a larger one. And uh, so we have a 7 something 25 and a something, same something 26. Pause, press pause. And 7, 24, 25, of course. And then the other one is, um, it's going to be 26, 24, 10. But that makes C3, okay? And this is uh, doubling the 5, 12, 13. 10, 24, 26. All right, I've always been fascinated by Pythagorean triple generators. Uh, one of the ones is, um, of course, C squared equals A squared plus B squared, where C is the hypotenuse and A and B are legs of a right triangle. Given that A is odd, if B is this expression in terms of A and C is also a function of A, that will generate Pythagorean triples. By the way, A has to be odd greater than 1. 1 will not work because you're going to get zeros. So I'm going to go ahead and create a spreadsheet to uh, generate these using these formulas here. So in column A, it said we wanted A to be odd, starting not with one though. So I'm generating odd numbers. Two times uh, whole number plus one will generate odd numbers. I'm actually going to generate the first 200 odd numbers uh, after one. And column B, B is going to be whatever A squared is minus one over two and C is going to be whatever A squared is plus 1 over 2. And then what I want to do is decide, is this true? So if you look at column D, I have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If it's true, it'll say true. If it's false, it'll say false. And you can see I've got some of the regular Pythagorean triples, the known ones. So let's see, for the first 200, how often is this true? Hmm. Seems to be true for all of them. We'll come back to a proof in a little bit. About the other formula, when uh, E is even, A is double whatever E is, B is whatever e is E squared minus 1, and C is E squared plus 1. They're both functions. All of them are functions of E, an even number. So again, I created a spreadsheet, and I let E be the first 100 even number starting with 2. This is actually column A going next. And it's in column B, but it stands for the variable A. It's twice whatever this one is. B is whatever this is squared minus 1. And this is whatever E is squared plus 1. And notice I'm generating three, 4, 3, 5 instead of 3, 4, 5, 8, 15, 17, and so on. And then I double checked it by saying, is this column squared plus this column squared equal to this column squared? Because these are the legs and this is the hypotenuse. And as you can see, for these 200, always true. 
So how would you prove that? Well, I decided to use the computer algebra system on TI Inspire. I'm using the blue TI Inspire, not the red one. And I'm starting off with A being some odd number, 2n plus 1, where n is an integer. Uh, B is whatever A is squared minus 1 over 2, and so I simplified that to this expression. C is whatever is A squared plus 1 all over 2, and it's simplified to this expression. And then I let the CAS, the computer algebra system, do the work. So it does C squared equal A squared plus B squared. Well, this was my expression for C. I squared it using the expand command and got this polynomial. I took A, I squared, and I squared that, I expanded that, plus B, I squared that, I expanded both of them and added them, and there I got it. Now, I definitely could have done this by hand, but I just wanted to use the computer algebra system to illustrate it. Press pause as needed. And then using the one with the even numbers, uh, if E is an even number, it would be written as two times some uh, integer, uh, 2n or 2 natural number, I should say. Uh, so A is going to be uh, 4n. B is whatever E squared is minus 1, and that simplifies to this. C is E squared plus 1, and that would simplify to that. So then I would go back and test in Pythagoras' equation, expand C, that thing squared, and get this expression. Expand A squared plus expand B squared, add those two together, and surprise, surprise, we get the same thing. So that would prove it algebraically. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did. Again, this is where you can get the information and the materials. Um, have a good one.